Right. No foul call there. Tiago Bolta's pass. Cambiasso. Two players after him. Melito is there. So is Balotelli. Melito has it at the end line against Onyewu. Nice cut back inside. And he scores. Diego Melito with a goal. Well, Diego Melito gets on the end of this ball. He's not all sides. I thought Balotelli was. But they allowed the play to continue on. Now watch the power and the pace as he takes on Onyewu here. Isolated one-on-one. -on -one. And it's not good defending, but Melito from that short angle, it's not good goalkeeping either. It's a good strike. It's his first goal of the tournament. Since he's moved on from Genoa to into Milan, he'll be happy with that. The power is there. But again, from that angle, the goalkeeper, well, he's got to be held responsible. Yeah. And defending-wise, you know, you're always forcing the player to the end line in a way. And Aguchi Onye will to do a little bit better with that defending. Goalkeepers obviously don't want to get beat to the near never, post. Never, never give up your near post. Yeah. Never. You wonder about the communication between he and Onyewu there. Uh, credit Melito too. Uh, AC Milan corner. Cordoba good in the air. Cleared it. Pato lost it. Here comes it to Milan. On the counter, Stankovic leads it. Melito. Against Abate, Melito the right foot, the shot, Hapalic, right in, he has two. That's a great counterattack here, Pato losing the ball. And it's a two on one situation. The timing has to be right, the pass has to be right to beat the offsides, the one-on-one. -on -one. And it's a finish. Diego Melito will be very happy that he's gotten two goals before he leaves the States in the preseason tour. Whenever you make a change, like he did from Genoa, he was a second leading scorer in Syria last year. Catches the keeper full in the wrong way. And he's happy. And Inter are going to make three changes now as Melito scores one early and one late. He's been the offense today for Inter Milan.